So you don't need to be a scientist or an astronomer to be pretty excited about the new images that we're seeing of the far reaches of the universe. They come from the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, which features some parts that were made right here in western New York. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. First, though, just what we're seeing today. Look at this. NASA releasing high-resolution pictures showing distant galaxies, stars that are similar to the sun here in our solar system, even evidence of supermassive black holes. It is a new era of space exploration that's only just beginning with the most powerful telescope ever built now giving us this look at the origins of the universe. Stunning images from the James Webb Telescope, today turning what had been the subject of science fiction into reality. Today the Webb mission is open for scientific business. That business, the most detailed look ever at the depths of the universe. Every dot of light we see here is an individual star, not unlike our sun, and many of these likely also have planets. Clusters of galaxies, the birth and death of stars, new data on the makeup of celestial bodies. And we're seeing the elements of oxygen and hydrogen as well as neon. There are even pictures scientists and astronomers don't yet fully understand. We see examples of structures that Honestly, we don't even know what they are. Like, what's going on here? Webb began collecting data and capturing images a few weeks ago. Today's release, the result of 120 hours of observation. The NASA team stressing this is just the beginning of a new era in astrophysics and space exploration. I can't wait to see where we go from here. The Webb telescope launched with enough fuel to continue its mission for two decades or more. So imagine what we're going to see next. It's also pretty special for people here in western New York that a locally based company was involved in making parts for this telescope. We're talking about Moog, which created several parts for the James Webb Telescope, just like it did many years ago for the Hubble Telescope. And that included parts like actuators, positioning systems, and vibration dampening hardware. And we put in requests to talk more about those specifics with somebody at Moog, so we hope to learn more from them soon about just exactly how involved they were. But today we did get the chance to talk with the director of the Whitworth Ferguson Planetarium at Buff State College. He talked about how that Western New York connection is helping make this all happen, as well as how these images like these uh, will help create programs that you'll be able to check out yourself at the planetarium with Moog and their contributions to the spacecraft, um, as well as a lot of other spacecraft that we, we talk about all the time in the planetarium, different uh, rovers on Mars, and it's great to have a, a local company involved um, in that, that design and, and fabrication of the, the, the components. We, uh, we didn't plan anything around the release today, uh, just because there was a lot of unknown. You know, NASA didn't really say what they were going to be releasing ahead of time. Um, but we're going to be putting together uh, public programming for uh, probably mid-fall that relates to uh, some of the images coming out from JWST and what it means. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely be doing a lot with uh, outreach and, and hopefully having the public come in and uh, learning more about not just the, the telescope itself, but these amazing, amazing images that they're showing. Right now for the summertime, the Whitworth Ferguson Planetarium offers programs on Saturday nights, but that will move back to Friday and Saturday nights come the fall. To check out the schedule and grab tickets for an event, you can go to planetarium.buffalostate.edu.